Hi everyone, bonjour tout le monde. This is Renee Jarrett with Not Sorry for the Story, an unapologetic take on current affairs right out of Canada. Let me start right off the bat by saying praise God and thank you for coming on board to the Not Sorry for the Story community. I've had about 100 plus subscribers over the last two videos. The video Trudeau Sings Stop Using Canadians has garnered about 5,000 plus views. There's just something about mentioning the prime minister's name that causes people to come out of the woodwork. So thank you for sharing, liking, and subscribing, truly. It has been a great encouragement and it's been great to reason with each other online. And so today's broadcast, I really just wanna let you know about some of the things that you're going to see in the days ahead. Some of them are unfolding right now. You're going to see gnashing of teeth, foaming at the mouth, pulling out hair, figuratively and literally. And we're seeing it unfold right now. Isn't it interesting that the last video I did was on Bill C-11 about censorship of the internet in Canada. And April has been the month where we have had a surprise advocate for the freedom of speech come and take his stance, the name that is on everyone's lips, Elon Musk, having made a bid and acquired Twitter for $44 billion. And as you have seen, possibly with some of his tweets, he is a freedom of speech proponent. And so it is very interesting to see the reactions that are happening. What did I say? Gnashing of teeth, foaming at the lips, pulling out hair, the reaction from someone who is an advocate for freedom of speech coming to bear <laughs> in this public square. Oh, what a thing, what a thing. Uh, may God bless him and cover his family as he takes his stance. I find that this is a prayer I'm saying very often as different ones start to recover ground or take ground Yes, in truth. So those are some of the things you're going to see. You're also going to see destruction. Why? The Bible says that pride goes before destruction and a fall before a haughty look or a haughty spirit. So listen, when it comes to pride, it's not something simple to mention because, of course, you have to look at yourself first. I want to stay in the place, as the Lord said to his sons and daughters, Clothe yourself with tender mercies, loving kindness, humility. Bind it all together with love. And so, as I mentioned this, I don't say it as, I can't wait to see it. I say it as, this is the succession of things that will happen when pride is raised high. And so now we have the public inquiry happening regarding the Emergencies Act that was issued in Canada. And all of the main characters are holding fast to their first narrative on why it had to be used. Some of them are even regurgitating claims that have now proven false. This is not a good position to be in. It is not a good position to be in. When you hold a ground that will likely fall from beneath your feet. The only line that we have right now to take is a line of repentance, turning around, changing our mind. Yes, that takes letting go of pride. <laughs> it's a hard one to let go of, but it is possible. And I pray this for myself. I pray this for my fellow Canadians and yes, even those in government. And so this is where it's at. These are some of the things we're going to see. We're going to see the gnashing of teeth, the foaming at the mouth, the pulling out of hair, destruction, figuratively, literally, if repentance does not happen. But I can say in the midst of ground being recovered, ground being won, for some, exposure is happening. For others, deliverance. Where do we find ourselves in the mix? I want to encourage us in the days ahead to seek truth and to walk with truth. 
truth is a person, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only one called the way, the truth, and the life. You're going to hear me talk more about him in the days ahead, even as I see the days approaching, the day of his return. And we want to be ready. We can't be ready when he comes. We have to be ready beforehand. So even as I bring you this not sorry for the story, I want to leave you with this. We need to take hope in some of the things that we've seen over recent years. We've seen some people just suddenly rise up on the scene, and these are signs to us. President Donald J. Trump, the Freedom Convoy, Elon Musk, and you also are here, just as I am, for such a time as this. Take hope and take heart, and let's continue to advance. Let's remember Freedom George. Let's remember Pat King again. To <laughs> who all that they did was help organize the Freedom Convoy that was a part of the occupation in Ottawa, and they're still in jail. And can I just say about Ottawa? Ottawa is still on lockdown. If you get a view of Ottawa, thank you, MP Arnold Viersen, who every now and again comes out, does a Facebook live chat, and he will just show around Wellington Street. It's still locked down. Fences, gates. They never did this when there was an actual terrorist attack in our nation. This was never done at that time. <laughs> Gunmen went into Parliament Hill. But they said they had a resolve afterwards. We need to keep Parliament open because it is the people's house, it is the people's house. So let's get back to what is supposed to be the right normal. Thank you for watching this, thank you. Let's continue to stand on guard for Canada and for our nation. God bless you.